For the first time in my life, and the first time in human history, we are having a global conversation about race. There's some people who love that, and then there's a lot of people who don't really like the fact that it's happening. There are people who are losing friends and family, people on social media who are losing followers. I mean, I myself have lost hundreds of people because some people aren't comfortable with this conversation. I've been talking about racial injustice, the Black Lives Matter movement. I've been specifically saying Black Lives Matter while some people want to just shout out, all lives matter. See, imagine being in a relationship where the person that you're with says they will leave you if you say something they disagree with. Does that sound like fun? That's exactly what we're doing to one another. We don't want to hear the other side. We don't want to see something differently. So we're being the types of people who would rather create an insulated bubble than invite public discourse. And anyone who's not willing to engage in a conversation where people potentially disagree is inviting toxicity into relationships. Let me be clear, we have a right to create boundaries. You wanna unfollow somebody because they are spewing hate or racism or xenophobia? By all means, unfollow them. It doesn't even have to be that serious. You can unfollow someone because their content is basic or you just outgrew it. You have every right to follow and unfollow whoever you want. Boundaries are healthy. However, that is very different than the tactic people are employing when they leave you if you say something they disagree with. See, now that, that my friends, is a form of manipulation. You may hear that and say, whoa, 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 that's extreme. Don't, don't, don't pull that card. Well, the card is pulled, but I won't spend time there because that's what they want. Instead, I'm gonna invite you into living a life full of passion and purpose to say and do the things that make people uncomfortable for the sake of a greater good, a bigger vision, a better world. It's the only thing that will jostle people out of their comfortable way of living and disrupt them into change. I wanna invite you to say and do the things that are worth the unfollows. What's worth losing people over? Is it climate change? Is it the income gap? Is it racial justice? Is it police brutality? Friends have unfriended me because I am choosing to say something and they will unfriend you. Friends have also changed their mind because of those same things and that's who we do it for. We do it for the curious and the honest souls who wanna get there, the people who want to change and grow and learn from their mistakes. See, I have a friend who I would, I would go to battle with. Like, we'd have these tussles, right? I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want you guys to troll him, but we had so many debates about politics and why he voted for Donald Trump. And he wouldn't budge, and neither would I, but we didn't give up on each other. And recently, uh, after a post I cooked up, he admitted that he was wrong and he wasn't going to vote for Donald Trump again. See, that only came about because I didn't unfollow him. He didn't unfollow me. We didn't separate because of our disagreement. And my brothers and sisters, that's why I do it. Because there are people who want to change and grow and learn from their mistakes. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's your best friend. Maybe that's your mom. Maybe that's your dad. Maybe you have unfollowed people who disagree with you. And maybe that can stop today. Maybe you have a hard time listening to other people's perspectives because you believe you're right. Maybe you only hang around people who think and act like you. Well, let me tell you something. It's never too late to lean in and ask questions. It's never too late to ask for forgiveness. It's never too late to open your heart and be vulnerable. Because that's exactly what our world needs right now.